It's my pleasure to introduce two new exhibits by Indiana artists whose work is now on exhibit in the East and McDonald Galleries at the Art Museum of Greater Lafayette. We're open for visitors three days a week by reservation through our website, so I hope you'll come in soon and see these shows in person. Ed Lausch is a Greater Lafayette professional photographer who may be best known for his commission photography of people in happy circumstances like weddings, anniversaries, and graduations, and he's also known for the event and exhibit photos he shot as contributions to the art museum. We're grateful for his many years of generosity. But Ed's real joy is taking his camera on trips to exotic world destinations and recording scenes of wonder that he's kept to himself until now. Each photograph in Seeing the Light has been selected from the tens of thousands of negatives and digital images in his personal files. Edited, enlarged, printed in high resolution on archival material, and then framed by the artist himself. His work spanned from the 1970s through the 2000s with powerful images of people and places that will draw you in through his eyes and his lens. This exhibition features vast landscapes and soulful looks in the places he's visited on his photographic excursions. So please come in and join Ed as he takes you on a visual journey through vistas from Ireland, China, Thailand, and the United States in color, black and white, and infrared. The name of the exhibit is called Seeing the Light. As I see it, as I have captured it through the lens of my camera. There are so many different kinds of light um, and seeing the light to me is seeing the difference between hard light, soft light, cloudy bright light, harsh light. Um, several of my images in the exhibit are taken with an infrared camera. And um, even back before digital, I shot infrared because it's different. Now with digital, it's a whole lot easier and I have converted the sensor on one of my cameras so all it shoots is black and white infrared and it views the light totally different than when you're shooting with a color camera. I like that look because it is different. It's a different way of seeing the light where the trees go white and the sky goes black. Um, I've tried to capture light in the morning, in the evening. My preference or my favorite time of shooting is when you have cloudy bright light because then you don't have the harsh shadows you do with say midday sun that's directly overhead. To be honest I was quite flattered that the museum asked me to have a show. Um, it gives me a way to showcase some of my travel photography. Um, I have traveled around the world. I love to travel, especially to third world countries. Um, the, the show is pretty much about my trip to Ireland last fall. And uh, back in spring of 1994, I went backpacking in China and Thailand for two months just to photograph. And then I also went to Thailand again uh, with a group of photographers in 2002 for a couple of weeks just to photograph. Uh, the large canvases, most of them are from Ireland. Um, all of the work that you will see in the exhibit, I did all the work myself. I took the photographs, I printed the canvases, I lacquer coated each one of them three times and I did all the stretching of the canvases and the wires on the back, so I created everything myself here in my studio. Every piece, when I think about it, it brings back the memories associated with that image. Dark hedges, I really like that one because that was when we first got to Ireland. It was 50 degrees, it was windy, it was raining but then the light would change and the sun would come up a little bit, but it was just, 
it brings back the memories of really we're getting out of the van but it's raining out there and then like the one in china of uh, a yen for fishing uh, that was taken early one morning. We were on the river. I was on the bow of a 20 or 30 foot boat. All these fishermen thought I was crazy, wanting to be on the river before the sun came up. Uh, you know, it took about an hour for the shoot and I had an interpreter that could get, make instructions to the, the fishermen to go back and forth for composition and lighting. And I finally got the image I wanted. To me, the art museum is a way of giving back to the community. I can't, you know, being so uh, small, self-employed, I don't feel like I have the money to donate, but I can donate my time and my talent of what I can do to the art museum. So anything Kendall asks for, I shoot it, I give him the fox. I'd like the people to feel like they have a glimpse of Ireland or Thailand or China um, after seeing the exhibit. It's by making the really large canvases, I think it's, uh, it's a very impressive show, um, and I think you should go see it.